Hey guys, Kay here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. So today <clears throat> I'm building a uh, detective's bungalow in the world of Willow Creek. Uh, this is actually for my save file. So he, uh, he currently lives alone. I'm trying to remember his name. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> don't remember um but he works as a i think he's been promoted to chief now so as you can see in the bottom left that's his actual money so what happened is i he went to university got his degree i believe in psychology and then he started working and he worked his way up to chief and so i kept you know he kept going to work kept saving money because i wanted it to be kind of real uh, i like playing like that and so he saved up enough money and uh, it did end up being enough. I was worried <laughs> toward the end, but um, so he saved up his money to uh, demo the existing house and to build this one. And I just think it's really cute. Um, I'll throw up the inspiration image now. Uh, I saved so many pictures of houses that uh, now Facebook and like Pinterest just automatically show me houses and I'm like you guys I don't have time to build all these houses <laughs> but I keep saving them and I like looking at them so um I just I really like Willow Creek um we have so many worlds now which is fantastic but I don't know sometimes I just like to go back to back to the originals and uh so this build is definitely gonna be uh pack heavy because my last one was um, just a Crystal Creations and base game. So in this one, I uh, I missed using all of the packs, so I went right back to them. <laughs> um, but you can see which packs I used in the uh, in the video description below. But I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, I like doing smaller houses. I think I've mentioned that before. And I like the smaller lots, and this is actually just one of my favorite lots in Willow Creek anyway. So, and my idea for it was uh, to make it cozy, but he really, I wanted to give him a study. Because if you've gone through the detectives or just the police, you know, career, um, you unlock all this stuff that goes to your inventory. And I was like, oh, I really want to use some of this stuff. So I wanted him to have an office. That was a requirement. Um, I feel like I'm on an HGTV show <laughs> with this list of like wants and stuff. But so an office was uh, a must. And so kind of some of his backstory, I've already told you he went to university, but he's been um, with his girlfriend for a while now. And he's planning on proposing soon. Uh, so he wanted this house to be built before he proposed so that after they get married, they can move right in um, and start on their family. So in addition to, to their bedroom, um, this house has uh, a nursery that I decorated. So you'll see that. Um, I don't remember. I think her name's Mahalia. I don't remember his. Crazy, right? But I remember hers. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, they're going to get engaged soon and move into this brand new house. And so I did decorate, there's a lot of, um, I don't know, I guess I would say masculine, um, colors and decoration, more neutral, <clears throat> but I'm sure after she moves in, she'll add her own touch as well. Uh, but this is just kind of, I was kind of going on the story, you know, right now it's just him that lives there. And, oh my gosh, you know what, you guys? I can remember his dog's name, Milo. I don't remember his name. But anyway, so he's got an English setter named Milo. And just super cute. Uh, I've loved watching um, them interact because he got Milo when he was a puppy. And now he's full grown and he's been teaching him um, all the tricks and stuff and taking him on jogs because uh, he's the detective. Uh, I'm just going to call him the detective is um athletic and so he likes to work out at the gym and he likes to go on jogs which i feel like this this law is like is perfect for that so but i'm just uh yeah i'm doing some landscaping i wanted it to look like i don't know just a really clean um kind of small bungalow because he doesn't need a whole lot of space um i think they're just gonna have one kid 
they have two, the kids are going to have to share a room at this point because I didn't, or he's going to have to give up his study, <laughs> which I don't think he's going to want to do. Um, but as you can see, they just have a little small uh, patio out back because the house actually took up most of the lot. And I decided I didn't like the stone. Um, on, cause with the house raised, I was like, I think it just makes more sense th to have decking. So that's what I did, but I wanted them to have an outdoor space and I wanted him to have a grill. So that's kind of what I'm putting in now. Uh, but I've been, I've been having a lot of fun playing. Um, I get to work is one of my favorite expansion. Is it an expansion? Mm, I might be getting that wrong. I don't think it is an expansion actually. Game pack. I don't know. Either way, it's one of my favorites. And so it's been really fun. Um, it's been so long since I played that the police um, career. So it's it's been really fun playing that again. And I love sending them to college and, you know, giving them um, a head start in their career and that bonus that comes with it. So I've really been enjoying that. And I'm really excited to get his wedding plan too. And to have the little baby. <laughs> I haven't played with infants in a, in a while. Actually, I haven't really played Sims in a while. Um, but yeah, I just figured from now on, because uh, I I didn't really have time to do Sims builds. That's why they went away. Because you all saw how long it took for me to do the crystals creation, crystal creations build. Um, so kind of what I'm doing now is I'm just playing the sims when i have time and i'm in for my enjoyment you know just the gameplay and then when when they're ready for a house though like then that's i will put it on the channel so in this case you know um i i created him um and then i sent him to college you know he moved into this house um which is crick cabana and you could see the original house that was here at the beginning of the video um but so i you know he he was good with it. He worked and worked until he saved enough money to, to build this house. But I, um, wow, I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, <laughs> so in that case, I was like, well, you know, I guess I could download a house, but I really want to build one. So it was perfect. So then I'll, I'll put it on the gallery. So probably the next house that I'll build will be for, um, his child when they're grown and ready for their own house. Uh, and I'm not sure what I want to do with the child yet, like, in terms of gameplay. I, I love um, the horse ranch. Love it. So I'm tempted to go back to that world. I did recently do, well, recently, but in terms of videos on the channel, recent, I guess. Um, I did do a, like a, what did I, I don't remember what I called it, but just like a, a two-story farmhouse yeah modern farmhouse in chestnut ridge i that's on the channel so i guess i could do that but it'd be kind of fun to to build a different one and use it for the child i haven't decided but it also might be fun to maybe do like a sulani build i haven't played in that world in a while like maybe she's going to want to you know, conserve and I forget what it's called but you know where you save the turtles and stuff so I might want to do that. Um, probably should talk about the build, huh? Well, we've moved inside. So uh, I think this is the shortest speed build I have on the channel. Yeah, I think I think the castle is longer. But anyway, so he's got uh, a nice foyer area. And off of the foyer, you've got the nursery up front with the bathroom right next to it. Um, and that's the guest bath too. So any, you know, they have some dinner parties or whatever, or they're grilling in the backyard. Um, so that's kind of the, the public slash, um, that would be the child's bathroom. And then the room that you can't quite see at the moment that's off the foyer. Oh, perfect. Right there with the French door is the study. But I, I don't know what it is. I love a foyer, like in real life. I don't like just walking into the living space so I um I typically will incorporate them into my builds I really do like my builds to be realistic <clears throat> okay so here you can see all the stuff I've unlocked from the career and I don't use all of it um 
you can also see some of the other stuff that I had uh, from from the house I demolished. Yeah, like that bed. I think I picked up that lamp at the flea market in the city. Um, but anyway, not the lamp I just put in, but the, the floor lamp. So yeah, I was really excited to use all this stuff. And I think I used most of it. That star down there is just ginormous, so I did not end up using that. But yeah, I had a I had a lot of fun with this room actually. There's like so much that you can put in there. <laughs> you know, they get they give you a lot of stuff in this career. <laughs> it was it was just really cool. I guess it's also a place too where, uh, you know how sometimes the kid kids when you have a like when they get to to school years they'll sit in a chair and do their homework like I can just picture when um he and Mahalia have a child they'll the child can sit in there while he's maybe like working after hours not that I don't think you can actually do that in this career but I mean meaning at home but anyway that's not the point for storytelling um you know they could sit in the chair and do their homework while dad's working and I just think that's that's super cute um, but yeah, you don't see a ton of child stuff other than the nursery only because, you know, they don't, his girlfriend has even moved it. They like, you know, the child is still a little bit out, but he's still, I still decorated for it. So it's ready. So it's all ready to go. I just need to dust off some of the furniture. But yeah, I kept, uh, oh, I love those lights. I was like, that's perfect for the vibe. I, like the, I love that they added light switches too. Uh, that was a while. I mean, it's been around for a while, but. So I've moved on to the, to the guest bath and I keep this one fairly simple. I don't know if I normally build houses with this height um, of walls, like this wall height. I think I normally do the short one, but I don't know with it being a bit smaller. It's nice to have the higher ceilings, I think. That's, I mean, that's in real life. I, I don't know if the Sims care, but like I said, I, I try to play as real as I can. But sometimes I'm also like, okay, you're being, you're, I drive myself crazy. I'm like, you're being too much. It's the Sims, it's fine. But yeah, I thought the little rubber duck was a fun addition for, you know, for when they have their little one. So quick thing, as always, I, I play test all my builds. Um, it should work just fine. Again, I don't have the child yet, so I can't tell you in terms of that, but when he needed to wash the dog, the the concern, you know, with how this bathroom, how the bathroom is laid out is he, he wasn't able to wash his dog unless I moved the toilet, which for me, is like not a big thing. It might be for some folks though. So I did want to mention it. Like I just went into build mode, move the toilet, wash the dog, move the toilet back. Cause it's not an everyday thing. As I've played with bathrooms like this before. I think it should work with bathing the child, but I'm not exactly certain. That's the only thing I wasn't certain about. So I've moved on to the nursery and it ended up being a bit smaller than I expected. Um, I mean, it work. It was, it was good, but, uh, I was kind of trying to think of how to lay it out. So you will see me, yeah, move, <laughs> you'll see me move some stuff, kind of mess around with, you know, how do I want things? But the, I like the closet. I had that space there and it was just like, what do I do with this? And the closet was, it was perfect. And I did fall in love with these little decals on the wall. Oh, so cute. I thought it turned out, <clears throat> it's, it's neutral, you know, cause they don't know what they're going to have. So but I thought it was really cute. Yep. Change that. So I do come back later and add the hamper because I, um, Oh, I guess I didn't add a tummy time mat. Well, that can be added later. Like I said, they don't have it, have um, the child yet, so. But I totally oh, I do come back and add the hamper later because there is a laundry room um, that I that is in the game. So here I couldn't decide 
if I wanted to have a chimney column come like you know all the way up and then I, I kind of just settled for this instead. But the living and kitchen and dining are all, you know, wide open. So it's um it's it's a good it, you know, it's small, but I feel like it's still a decent space to entertain. You know, not not with a ton of people, but I think, you know, you can still have some folks over. So one thing here is I do end up moving that stereo over a little bit later on in the video because I got so distracted <laughs> with cluttering up the living room and, you know, like decorating that I forgot I wanted a window that looked out to the back patio. So that will come later. Nothing, um, nothing changes or gets deleted. It's just the stereo moves over a bit. I don't think I, I don't normally put stereos in my builds, I don't think. I'm trying to remember, or if I do, they're like the wall ones. But this one, it just had the space for it. So I was like, that's perfect. But I was pleased on how the living room came out. Like I said, it's not like when you, if you have a party, some folks will be standing or they can go outside too. But, you know, you've got, I think that sofa has three spots for Sims to sit on. And then you've got the chair, of course, but just have small get togethers. And it's perfect for, for my save file because, um, you know, since I created him in uh, in a new game, like he doesn't have any parent. I mean, obviously he has parents somewhere, but, <laughs> but they're, you know, they're not just someone I can invite over. So it'll just be him, his girlfriend. I don't know what his girlfriend's family is like. I actually haven't looked at her household tab. Now I'm curious. I have to look at that, but you know, maybe for, um, harvest fest, uh, is that what's called winter fest and harvest fest, right? I might be butchering that, but either way, um, you know, they can, they still have room. Then they got the, the room at the bar, um, for extra seating and all of that. So I didn't, I honestly didn't think that I'd be using these cabinets. Um, but I didn't want to use more expensive ones because again, part of the fun for me and somewhat challenged, even though I think he, he did end up having plenty is, you know, is ha like, this is his money. So Oh, when he runs out, he runs out like you're done. So I, uh, yeah, I was just trying to make conscious choices of, uh, of materials and just, um, cabinets can get expensive. Well, just like in real life, right? Cabinets can get expensive real quick. But yeah, it's just a little kitchen. I do leave the island for, um, for prep. Yeah, okay, I, was, I, I thought I put a microwave there. Okay, so one thing, those cookbooks, they always go away. And I I don't know why, I can't make them stay. So they are not in the game, um, or in the build, unfortunately. I, I tried putting them there like three times. You know, each time I open to work on this, on this build, and it's like, okay, well, fine, just go. It's all right. <laughs> so they are not there, but... Got the cute little table. So we're gonna finish out this room just by adding some uh, some wall decor. Gotta have the aprons. I just really couldn't decide what to do here, honestly. I thought I wanted something else, and then I I think I went back to the baskets. Yeah, I did. I always put those lights there when I first start, just to light up the space. But I normally like to change them out. I like to. You know, just do some some interesting lighting. <clears throat> I don't want it to all be the saucers. Nice. So, pretty soon we're going to be moving on to the laundry room. And as you can see the the patio the back patio is off of that little hall that leads to the primary bedroom and the laundry room so we are working on the laundry room right here 
And this will be a great time, as soon as I place it, to tell you about the one thing I did find. I could not find these appliances, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I could not find them. Eventually I did, obviously, but yeah, it was a pain. <laughs> I was like, where are they? So yeah, I end up deleting that hamper because I'm going to have it, you know, in the bedroom. So it doesn't really, it doesn't, I don't need a third one in there. But what, I love all the stuff, by the way, that they have for the laundry rooms, like just the wall decor and just, I don't know, it just makes it so real. And I really enjoy that attention to detail. Yeah, I end up, I think that's what I leave. I end up putting that there and I was kind of hoping the baskets could go on top of it, but honestly, they're kind of large, so that might have looked a little funky. Oh, I do end up deleting that because I didn't realize that there was another one on the other um, set that I had put on the wall. Okay, right there. So those towels on the washer, I had to delete. I don't know what it was, but it kept telling me there wasn't an available washer and I deleted them and then it fixed the problem. So you won't, I, oh, I believe it is in the screenshot. So my apologies on that, but it is, it's not in the build if you download it from the gallery. So here I was like, oh, can we do two windows? I'm like, nah, let's just do one. And I had deleted the stereo because I was like, I don't know if it'll fit. And then it ends up, I just move it over. So, but yeah, we're, we're getting close to being done. Honestly, this just wasn't a super long build, which I, which is good with me. I mean, like I said, I like me some small builds. Uh, yeah, I placed a pet food dish down because I was like, oh, forgot the, <laughs> forgot about the dog. You will notice, um, because space was kind of limited, uh, there's not a dog bed. And the reason, there's two reasons. Obviously, the one I just said, the biggest, uh, space is limited. The other reason is in the previous house, the one that I demolished before building this one, he never used it anyway, like ever. He just slept on the couch. So I'm like, okay, he can sleep on the couch. And he does. He loves it. So... Anyway, that's why, but I, you did see me place the um, pet toy box in the living room. Yeah, the living room. I, I honestly love decorating bedrooms. I, lo I think I just like decorating everything, honestly. I, I do love building. I just don't have, I think if building was the only thing I did on the channel, I'd have time for it, but I just, I'm interested in too many games, you guys. I just can't do it. So much I like to play, obviously. If you, if you look at how much is on my channel, <laughs> almost too much. <laughs> but yeah, so that's why I didn't leave a laundry basket in the, in the laundry room, because they'll be in the bedrooms. <clears throat> also, a funny thing. So I placed this dresser. And I get so proud of my builds, which is kind of silly, but I always have to show my husband because I'm so excited. I'm like, oh, come look at my build. <laughs> so I was showing him and he saw this dresser. He's like, you guys, he got so excited. He's like, I love that dresser. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> he was so excited. It was adorable. It is, it is nice. It fit, I thought it fit the vibe of the room. I think I end up deleting those shoes, actually. You'll see why. Like, the walk-in closet is sufficient, and it just, I don't know. At the end of the build, I didn't, it, it didn't really look right. Ooh, so this is my favorite part. Okay, I do this walk-in shower, and I, I actually got the idea from, oh gosh, what's her, what's her name? Dizzy Miss Lizzie. I've put her, uh, the video that I got the idea from in my video description. So check it out. She's got a bunch of other great ideas. So if you're a builder, um, yeah, she very talented. I was so psyched to find her video. So anyway, that's, I, I, you know, I like to give credit words too. That's where the inspiration for this came from. Uh, so yeah, I was really excited because <laughs> every, I, I was trying and I was like, ah, oh, it's just, it's not looking right. And she had a bunch of great tools and, um, and tips to, to get it to look right. So 
as this like crowning jewel of this whole build. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. And it, it works great, honestly. And I, I had to put two robes because again, he is going to be with his, you know, his uh, soon to be fiance. So got to make sure there's a robe for her too. But we are, we're getting close to wrapping up, honestly. Like, wasn't wasn't a huge build, but I had a lot of fun putting it together. Love this bathroom. So I'm just gonna... I think I put a display in the corner. Ooh. Yeah, I couldn't figure out what I wanted. I tried a couple of different things, and... <clears throat> That's my favorite thing to put above the toilet, by the way. Ah, yeah, okay. All right. So I'm going to just get a couple things on the vanities. I like decorating bathrooms, too, honestly. Yeah, the soaps were kind of a pain, so I just ended up doing <laughs> just, just one in the center. But, yeah, it's, it's a pretty big primary bath for, for the size of the house, honestly. Another thing that I haven't really done before is a walk-in closet. So I was very pleased with how mine came out. I think I get started on it pretty soon. Yeah, here we go. Just used, uh, is it Dream Home Decorator? Oh, here I'm selling that stuff in the inventory, his inventory, because I was getting worried about money. Shouldn't have been, it was fine, but. Yeah, oh, I love this. This was really fun to do, because I, I hadn't done anything like this before. So, yeah, it was really, really fun. <clears throat> Definitely will be doing it in future builds as well. I just think that's the coolest thing. <laughs> like, I want one in my closet. <laughs> I'm going to have to. I'm going to talk to my husband about that. He's going to be like, you can't play The Sims anymore. I'll be like, yeah, fair. <laughs> fair. Get too many ideas. But I just, I had a blast with this. I only wish I had had enough room to put like a suitcase or something in, in it. Because on the other end, which you'll see soon, I put like a little ottoman. I do put a mirror in there too, of course, but. was like is it showing on the other side but anyway so yeah I think I use a love struck yeah but anyway so we're gonna put some art up there and a plant and that that about wraps it up so I'm gonna finish this voiceover if you'd like to download the build it's um, under blood rose K that's my gallery name um, and if you like the content feel free to like and subscribe and we'll see you for the next one